You're back for more Counterpart here on BuzzChomp. I'm Dan Salem. We're reacting to the latest episode of Counterpart, which was an origin story. Oh, I love these. These hit home. Anybody that loves superheroes, any sort of story loves the origin part of the story. This is the first time we got to see the beginnings and how it all began. Counterpart. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to BuzzChomp. Buzz Woo! tough to dive into the ramifications of what we learned, but they're pretty much all encompassing. We saw how their side and our side came to pass, how one became two, how it split. We saw the first dude, Mira's dad, who met himself, and then management, as we know it today, were the buddies that he brought in on both sides, and there was like, was it five of them, six of them, hand in hand, trying to research this, and then what happens? One decides animal instincts must win out, kills his other, who was the Mira that we know's father got killed by the father from the other side who was the guy that we know in the prison where Howard Silk was being captive and it all comes full circle. We know why Mira's jaded because she watched her dad kill her dad, but it wasn't her dad, it was the other dad. Instant bitterness. She knows that the other side, which is the side that killed her dad, is also the same side that led the virus Why'd they create the virus, you ask? Simply because they assumed the other side was also creating the virus. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Don't make it. Simply have the conversation with yourself about not doing it instead of having the conversation with your friend behind their back about the fact that your other is doing it. If you're thinking it, then I'm going to guarantee that your other is thinking it. Yes. However, if you make the effort to talk to your other instead of being secretive and not trusting them because they are you and you should trust yourself, this all could have been avoided. What else could have been avoided? They started the experiment. We saw him crush the cassette tape, which set off a chain of events which led to Mira's brother's death on our side. Our side being the one we started at and not Howard Prime's side, which is the other side. That being said, the death of Mira's brother did not need to lead her other father to murder her father after sleeping with her mother behind his self's back. <laughs> the fact that that was a real statement is awesome and it's why I love Counterpart. He had his own wife to sleep with and yet he chose to sleep with his other's wife who was also kind of his wife because they're all the same. He didn't want to be on his own side because it was full of misery and instead of trying to fix his own life which was his life as the one that got killed put it he tried to meddle with the others. He just dove down a rabbit hole of grief and despair and death and caused a major, major S shit storm. Mira wants to put an end to the experiment which her father started. That is an altruistic objective. It is also a lie because the experiment's happening. The only way to end the experiment is to completely destroy one of the two worlds. That assumes that they can exist without one another. Don't think so. It's not how physics work. He had one thing that split into two things. The two things exist because they both exist and they have a meet point in the middle. How do you destroy the other side without also destroying your own? I don't believe that you can. It's not possible, but she's not a physicist. That's why she broke out her other dad who killed her dad to try to solve this problem. That's why she wants to meet with management to talk it out because they're the geniuses who have been managing the situation in somewhat secret. Mira obviously wants to fix things, but she also wants to kill a lot of people that wronged her side. That means the people that let the virus out. That means the people that killed her father, which are just her other father. I mean, I guess if she really wanted to act revenge, she should just kill her other father. But she needs her other father to get to management to stop management. These are the holes, but the origin story was kind of amazing. Watching them see one of themselves for the first time was awesome. Watching them have a party of science was enlightening and nice. Watching it devolve into human nature and self-destruction, also kind of refreshing and not surprising. When the simplest explanation is usually true, it was refreshing that the simplest explanation in this case was true. He was spying on the researchers for the Americans to try to get out of Germany, because the Berlin Wall was up. And in doing so, he didn't see the error message on the computer, and the world went to shit and split in two. 
And after that, he made another couple of mistakes. And after that, he killed himself in front of his daughter. And after that, we spiraled out of control for 30 more years until we are where we are today with Howard Silk and Emily Silk and Mira and management. This is gonna be interesting because all we really got from the present day was that Mira and her other dad are going to set a meeting with management or what's left of them that haven't been murdered. We don't know who all of them are. We just have an idea about one of them, but there are two of each ones. How many of their counterparts are left? How many have been killed over the years? We don't have any idea. We're gonna find out. And where does Howard and Emily kind of fit into all this? Because Howard's like plate in life and his mission was to uphold management, stop the terrorists. But management caused this, management caused the virus, management has been causing more crap all along to exploit the other side and further their own gains, which we knew management's not the good guys. But our good guys are fighting for the not good guys against other not good guys. I'm not calling anybody bad guys because nobody seems to have a bad motive. They're all doing it for the right reasons. Isn't that what's great about life? Everyone thinks their reasons are the right ones. We as the audience get to choose which ones we want to side with. Personally, I'm going to side with our Howard because he's the only person in this world outside of the Emilys that kind of seems like they actually are good at heart. We haven't met many others like that just yet. I'm Dan Salem. Subscribe to the Budge Jump YouTube channel for more counterpart videos every week. Oh man, this show is kind of intense. I love that we got an origin story. I can't wait. I want to see some more origin stories from the other characters in this show. And comment below. Did you take something else out of the backstory that I missed? How is this going to ripple forward? What do you foresee for Mira in the future? Woo! Thanks for watching BuzzChop. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share.